dear students so now let's begin with a story a house is not a home by zan godioso the story begins as a young narrator zan sharing his experience of going to the high school studies and how strange he felt in the initial year the reason behind his strange feeling was that in the junior school he had been the head of the class and had enjoyed the privileges given to a senior for him it was uncomfortable to be a fresher at the high school The school was twice as big as the old one and to make matters worse his friends had got into other schools so you can easily imagine how lonely he might have felt so just like anyone who missed their good old days he would go back to his old school to meet the teachers because he missed his old school so much the teachers would encourage him to meet new people in the new school and to get involved in new activities the father told him that after some time he would adjust to the new surroundings and would love the new school more than the previous one the teachers at the old school made him promise that he would visit them even when he got settled in the new school the narrator tried to feel comfortable with these words of his teachers One Sunday afternoon, Zan was sitting at the dining table doing his homework. The day was cold and windy and a fire was up at the fireplace. The narrator's pet cat was lying on top of the sheets of papers. It was making a purring sound and was sitting on his pen just for amusement. As Zan had saved the cat when it was a kitten, it remained very close to him zan's mother tended the fire to keep the house warm and suddenly there was smoke filling the room from the ceiling within a few seconds it filled the room and they could hardly see each other they made their way to the front door and escaped into the garden the roof had caught fire which spread so quickly Zan ran to the neighbors to call the fire department while his mother ran inside the house. Zan's mother came out of the house holding a small box full of papers. She threw it on the lawn and ran back. She was trying to save some important things. As Zan's father had died when Zan was very small, she had to save his pictures and letters which were the only memories of his concerned about her zan screamed at her not to go inside the burning house then he tried to run after her but was stopped by a firefighter the street was full of firefighter trucks zan tried to free himself and tried to explain that his mother had gone inside the house and he wanted to bring her back but the firefighter did not let him go because he knew that the very next moment zan would run into the house he further said the other firefighters would bring her back the firefighters wrapped a blanket around zan and made him sit in the car the fireman came out of the house with zan's mother behind him he took her to the fire truck and put an oxygen mask on her mouth zan ran to her and hugged her the thought of losing his mother aroused affection in zan's heart and all thoughts of dislike vanished from his mind the fireman calmed zan and said that she would be fine she had inhaled smoke then the fireman ran into the house while zan and his mother wondering on what had happened zan still remembers how he saw his house burn and felt helpless about it